about 30 seconds. Oh, you sound real good there, Kelly. Not a problem at all. No, I'm not taking a break. Well, I will say this, guys, while Kelly's getting to a uh, more quieter place, and it's amazing because when you have a home-based business, you see uh, doing various things throughout the day, but we can call in on a phone line, we can build our business, have people coming in from everywhere, guys, over the Internet. And that's really the theme about our, our, our talk today. Today's not a presentation call. It's more of an update call, kind of let you know the census of the, build, of the business, what's going on. We'd like to hear from several of the leaders today. Uh, people that are out there that are building the business, like Fred and Carla and Kelly and and uh, Tom and and of course, I mean, just just a ton of people. Uh, it just it, it blows my mind what's been happening with this business lately. So uh, again, like I said, we've got quite a few leaders that are on the line. Darcy's on here with us. Uh, hopefully, Pastor D. I don't know if he had an opportunity to make the call today, but that's what this call is about, guys. We're going to keep it short, no more than 20 minutes today. Because it's just more than an update call. So we want to kind of give you guys a census of what's going on with the business, what we're seeing, what's happening, and how you too can, can not only better build your business, but ladies and gentlemen, we're in store for some things that are so special in this industry, never been done before. That's why we're here. That's why we're on board and we're making things happen. So, Ms. Kelly, are you in a more quieter place now? Well, she's a real quiet place. You know what? Uh, hey, can you hear me? I thought it was going to be quiet in this ride, but it's not. <laughs> we'll take over for you, Miss Kelly, and just you can just pop in there anytime that you want. Today, is, guys, is not a formal call or anything. Okay, it's just good. it's one of our update calls. And guys, I want to get this started out by saying again, welcome to everybody uh, that's on our team, uh, guys. This this team call that we put together every Tuesday will kind of give you kind of the updates. Now, as most of you guys are aware. Uh, some of the updates that we've gotten from uh, Steve Labriola, quite a few things are coming. Uh, quite a few things are already in place. You're just not seeing them operate yet, uh, but they're already in place, being programmed in the back of the computer system. And we are, of course, moving to a whole new platform uh, that's able to handle some of the, the small glitches that we see in this from time to time. I want to give you some updates that I got on the, um, the binary. Everything's tracking, guys, 100% correct. Uh, sometimes in a binary pay, if you're new or if you come into the business, you may not see binary uh, every night, like some people are seeing it every night. It's because of the massiveness of the system. We have in the back office, ladies and gentlemen, there is a place that if you're not seeing binary pay and you're qualified, I can't tell you how many people that I've, I've went across and, and talked to thought they were qualified for the binary, but they're not. To be binary qualified, guys, you have to have one active customer. The system doesn't care who the customer is. It's one active pay 4990 software customer, and uh, it has to be active, meaning that it has to be within a 30-day period. They have to have that paid for, and in the next 30 days, you have to have one again. Sometimes in the business, you know, we may have a customer this and then we forget to get another customer next month, even if we're on the system and our, our, our uh, software expired because it went past the and we forgot to renew it, that's going to affect your binary pay. Uh, that's even going to affect your fast start commissions when sponsoring people. So you always have to remember that, that to make sure that you have an active customer. And the way that I always teach people about their active customers is that you have to log into your back office and when you're in your back office, you want to check and see uh, right there on your front panel where it says consuming qualification. You want to make sure it says at least level one. If it's level one, it means you have an active customer. If it's level two, you've got two customers. Five, you have five customers. So very important that you know that. So having a customer is one of the qualifications. The other is you just had to personally sponsor either an Ad Central or Ad Central family on your left or an Ad Central and an Ad Central family on your right. So once you've got those two qualifications, you have a customer, you have a personally sponsored on your left and one on your right, that means that you're binary qualified. Now, when you click on the self-service in your back office, you'll notice that there's a diagram that'll come up. You click on the diagram, and then you click the blue button that says, check my binary earnings. Do not click that more than once. Don't click that every day. Click it once because when you click it, we found out from Steve, it takes about five to six days 
because now it puts your binary kind of like at the bottom of the queue to be looked at. So as, that, as those days run by and four or five days come, then they go and they take a look at it. But if you keep clicking that every single day, it's starting a new five days all over again. So you keep pushing yourself to the bottom. So click it once and forget it. If you've already clicked it, don't click it anymore. Uh, because once they verify and catch up with your binary, it will have a date in there that says, yes, we've looked at your binary, the earnings are verified, you're good to go. Uh, so don't worry, like I tell everybody, the good thing about this company, everybody always gets the income. The system checks and rechecks itself. So even if you were skipped right now, it comes back and it gives it to you very, very well, uh, you know, when, when, it, when it goes back through and searches again. I know me and uh, Darcy had a conversation the other night, and she looked at her pay on Sunday uh, from the binary, and Darcy was saying, wow, it's really, really low. And I said, Darcy, remember what they told us, don't worry. And then she woke up this morning, and she well, she goes, oh, my God, she couldn't believe the amount. In fact, Miss Darcy, are you on the line with us? Can you hear me? I can hear you well. Yeah, you'll hear How are you? in the background today because I have uh, no backup today. Um, I have to go <laughs> but they're okay. They're being kind of quiet, so I can speak. <laughs> kind of like Kelly, you know. You can do this business with uh, grandbabies <laughs> running around you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we have forgot with the new, you know, that new rule because at first they had, you know, the company switches stuff. And uh, like Randy was saying, especially when people load their documents, and that was the key. A lot of people had paid with credit card on Sunday, and I'm like, the numbers don't add up because I can pretty much count on what it is. And so when I – and so I had that, like Randy said, that discussion with him on um, – Sunday, and I'm like, Randy, I think the binary is messed up, or it's not doing it correctly because I'm just not calculating right. He says probably a lot of them were credit cards, and they haven't uploaded their documents, and probably Monday or when their documents get approved, watch what happens. And as you were 100% correct, that's what happened. And so the system does catch up. Another thing that I did, Randy asked me, did I have any updates? Um, Steve has a new, a couple of new assistants. Um, in the corporate office here in California, I mean California, I want to say California so bad, in Boston, which has been a really big help, I can say, from being a leader because I'm able to, while he's out busy making sure all these new deals are on the table for us, he now has assistance to handle the little stuff like uh, missing stock passwords. And she let me know using the self-ticket, and this is concerning binary, that basically when you click it, it's like a five days it takes for, it's in the first come first serve. So you go to the bottom of the pile, but it is self, um, it, it's like a little ticket. You just grab a ticket and you're next. And so if you click that, it will get to you. And she says right now it's about five days out. So if you are somebody who has not gotten your binary for a while, click that and know that it might not be done right away. It depends on how many people have clicked it. But it will go through, and it will go through, and it recalculates your binary for you. So that self-help ticket in the back, if you clicked it, just be patient. It will get to you. And I was told that if you click it too many times, it puts you at the bottom of it. It re-puts you at the bottom, so don't re-click it. Just click it once and leave it alone. Hey, Darcy, this is Donna. May I interject something? Yes. Yeah. Um, just, just so people know that when you do click on the self-service and click on the binary and request the validation for that, the prompt does come up in Portuguese. I think it says Enfila, E-N-F-I-L-A, and that translates to in the queue. So just so you know that. Just wanted to add that. Thanks. Oh, no problem. I mean, that makes perfect sense, Donna, because it says in the queue. And that's what she was telling me. Tell them don't click it again because it puts you at the bottom of the queue. I know, I know a couple people go in there because you're able to click it every 24 hours. If you clicked it and they have not given you a resolution date on there and it still says, I think it was, it Donna's an EIF or something, three initials, leave it alone. Don't click it again because you don't want to go to the bottom of the queue. Exactly. In fact, I'm going to try to give you guys a visual of this very quickly. Um, as you guys are looking on there, here's a self-service ticket area right here. You click on the word self-service. You're going to click on the diagram that says qualification and binary earnings. And to submit it, you have to click on the words verify binary earnings. And once you clicked on that, 
you'll notice that it, here's the little message that they were talking about. So this is one that we happen to click on it. And one of the earlier clicks on the, that, that I, I went in here and I clicked on it, guys, it, it turned around and it caught me up on my binary now. And so basically you do this once. You don't keep doing it where you've got eight, nine days of EM. I had a guy call me today. He says he's been clicking that thing every day for two weeks. So every day he's been clicking it. It kept pushing him back to the bottom of the list. Don't do that. So basically you click it once. And, and that's it. So that that's the power of that. But thank you guys. Again, this, this is a part of the updates and the things we want to help you guys with. The other thing is, as Darcy brought up, which is a very important thing, binary pay. Your binary pay and even your fast start pay when you bring someone in. Guys, you have to. This is key. Very, very important. You have to make sure that they upload their documents and get it in properly. Now, I, I found on my case that I'm on a, um, I'm using Safari. So, you know, on a Mac, when I upload the documents, I get the green check mark and they go through fine. I've also heard on Internet Explorer that when people enter in their documents and key on the documents, the signature on your document has to match the signature on your driver's license. If those two signatures don't look the same, they're not going to approve your documentation of, of sending in with the credit card. So when you go to sign, you know, sometimes I like to sign in this little fancy, crazy signature or something of that nature. I just pull your driver's license out, whatever you use it for your photo ID with the signature. Look at that signature on there and just make your signature just like that one. That way you're not going to have any issues. The other issues, we've been saying this for a long time, and a lot of people have done this and it has went through, but it's not designed to. When you upload your document on your scanner of your, your fax machine and you're going to, or your scanner, you're going to scan your document into the computer just like you're going to scan your driver's license into the computer. Make sure you scan in with a PDF file, not a JPEG, not anything else. It needs to be a PDF. So when you click on the both browse buttons, and particularly in Internet Explorer, it works great. When you, when you click on the browse button, you find a document and you upload it that you scanned in. You find the driver's license that you upload. And now you'll see a green check mark that will appear on the right side. You have to click on that green check mark to submit your document. And then go back later on that day or the next day. Make sure that when you click there that the browse buttons are gone. Because if the browse buttons are back and you've got one document still in there and the other one popped out, it, it, it may be that it, it's not a PDF. It may be that they couldn't read it or it didn't match the driver's license. Whatever the case may be, you're going to need to re-upload that. Maybe even if it's your document, print out another blank document, fill it out, and make sure your signature matches. Scan it back into the PDF and then upload it again by clicking on that browse button and then clicking the button. I've found that people who have been doing that same form, uh, but they, you know, they, they redid the form so that maybe it's more legible, maybe they can see it better. They scanned it back in and it went through fine the second time, no problem. So if you're having that problem, which a few people are, maybe just recopy your, your document and make sure the signature match, re-upload it, and then it's going through. And again, fire in Firefox, I don't know, Darcy, if they're still having a problem, but I think in Firefox or Google Chrome, I can't remember which one, if you were going through that, people weren't getting the green check mark, but I understand they are getting it in Internet Explorer. Yes, Internet Explorer seems to be the best one to use right now. And if you have tried with Internet Explorer or all of them and none of them are working, um, I'm going to give my email out. Send me an email with your documents because I can take it and get it done right away. So don't try yourself first because I'm going to tell you, hey, did you try it? And I'm going to ask for your user and password so I can look. Um, then if not, then send it to me, to Young, Y-O-U-N-G-R-E-T-I-R-E-E -E -E at gmail.com. Because Steve uh, has given some of us leaders a special email so we can escalate the ones that under no circumstances are going through. And they can't okay, figure out why. Repeat that email one time, one more time. Young, Y-O-U-N-G-R-E-T-I-R-E-E -E -E 
and make sure in the subject matter you put upload documents please and your username and make sure the documents are attached <laughs> perfect and they okay, can and be, guys, uh, the they other... can be jpeg jpeg's okay i can't accept jpeg jpeg's as well is jpeg or pdf the those are the only two okay and uh on the packages guys um you know most of us people in the business now you know, after you, you've been in for a while, a lot of us are noticing daily pay with binary. Uh, there were times that it went two or three weeks that we didn't get the binary. We didn't panic. We knew that they told us as soon as the system catches up, and that's when they put that back there. So now most of us are getting it every day, uh, and that's what I'm hearing from quite a few people. There are some exceptions out there, and if you are the exception, guys, click on the diagram. Make sure you got it in there once. Don't click it again. It will find you. It will catch you up. Don't worry. No worries there. The other thing, too, guys, is this, and this is really key. Uh, when you're filling in those documents, the document has to match your name. So whatever name you put on, that, on the form when you signed up, if you signed up with your name, the credit card needs to have your name on it, and then the document that you send in has to have your name and your signature. Say how many times people have signed up in their name and then, or signed up in a business name, and then when they sent in their documentation, it had Joe Smith on there. That That's going to be a problem. Now, I understand that Steve said something about the future that's not going to be, but right now, it, it, it has to, everything's got to totally line up and match. So it's real important that you guys remember if you're going through credit cards, and credit cards are the only time you have to upload documents. If you're not using a credit card, you don't have to upload any documents. And the only exception to using your credit card is when a customer comes in, a customer does not have to upload any documents. It's only someone signing up for the $50 position or any $299 or $1375 upgrade that you have to do that. So so very, very good. Binary pay, guys, and this is this has been a real key. The way the binary works is every time you give, have a, you know, one ad central on the left, one ad central on the right, it's a $20 cycle. If it's an ad central family on the left and an ad central family on the right, it's a $60 cycle plus an additional 20 if you haven't went over your max for that day. See, on the ad central, the max cycles for an ad central, I believe, is, is it $440 a day? Is that correct, Darcy? I don't know. I believe it's 440 a day. I'll look it up. On the additional, meaning the Ad Central families, the $60, the max per day on that is $15,360. So here's the key, guys. It's a combination on the daily pay. If you're having a ton of people coming in, you may have maxed out your $20 cycles. And so the rest that you haven't got paid today carries over to tomorrow. The same thing with the Ad Central family. If you maxed out at the fifteen thousand a day, and you had twenty thousand dollars worth of cycles come in today, four thousand of them, or the other four thousand seven hundred, or whatever it is, that's going to carry over to the next day. So the max that they'll pay you is fifteen thousand dollars a day on the sixty dollars cycles. And the rest goes over to the next day, and then you'll get paid out on the next day if you haven't maxed out that day. The other key that you've got to remember, guys, here on our updates is that this company is growing so fast uh, that when you send in the support ticket, be patient with them. They will answer it. They will get it done. They're working, like we said, on a new system. A lot of things that we have right now are things we didn't have before, just like there are a lot of things planned for the future that we don't have now. And I'll tell you what, I'm so excited when I see all of the advancements company is making is absolutely phenomenal. Any thoughts there or anything that I missed, guys, uh, from Fred or Carla or, um, or you know, any, anyone else that I missed, any of the leaders on the line, if I missed something? I was going to say something to you, Randy, but I can't think of what it was. I lost my thought. Hey, great. Guys, Friday, we're going to have an extensive training this week on Friday. I do know there is a Super Saturday on uh, in uh, in uh, I believe it's New York this week. Uh, let me go ahead and oh, we're gonna pause this. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Randy, just FYI, I know a lot of people who become team builder. Um, oh yeah, thank it, you. It turns on quickly, you guys. But after talking to Steve, 
Um, because of our system being up and down and all the things, I know it's frustrating for those of you who have qualified in the last month for Team Builder, but you're not alone. There's tons of people who um, are waiting to be switched over. I know it's tedious to have to do those 55 ads. Um, you might want to list in one of the companies that we have out there right now in the meantime. It's kind of like how we talk about being leaders. Sometimes you have to suck up something in the beginning of a business, and I know it's not fair, but right now there's tons of people who need to be turned on to Team Builder, and there's and it hasn't happened. Um, just be patient. It will happen. Um, normally it happens within a couple of days of achieving it, but right now there's a large number that have not been turned on, a very large number. So. They, you will get the qualifications. It will be, you know, if you, if you qualified this month and they don't even turn you on until next month, you will qualify for whatever is due to you. You are a team builder, even if it your 60-day clock expires. As long as you have the requirements, you are a team builder. They, they have always made it right. So, just FYI, that is one of the how uh, you say. Randy, we do our announcements glitches, and I wanted to get that out there because I get a lot of emails that people who have qualified for Team Builder and they want to know when it's going to, when the little thing's going to switch their title. And unfortunately, right now, there's a lot, of, the system is not switching it over. So um, we'll get with Steve and see if we can get an update of how that issue is being uh, addressed right now. Absolutely. And I want to cover one other thing for those of you that are placing a lot of ads. You want to try, because the main thing is going to your site, logging in, and posting ads every day. You notice the company gives you several different suggestions on different sites that you can advertise on. They're all back there. You can pick any one that you want. I like to use the automated ones that are very, very fast at helping you and assisting you in posting your ads, especially if you're posting a lot. Uh, some of the ads you have to self-generate the ad yourself, copy it, paste, and then you know copy it and validate it. Other sites are out there, it's self-generated. It's all done for you just with the touch of a button. Uh, and so as you see here, the company has a lot of different sites out here, Telex ads, there's, um, you know, and a lot of these are Brazilian sites. I can't even, you know, pronounce them. Uh, but, you know, you have adfast.biz, you've got uh, addoorbrazil.com. Uh, there's a lot of these. One of the ones that I, I recommend, along with quite a few of those, is, and again, there's a couple different sites out there. There's even companies, like Darcy said, that will place the ads or assist you in placing ads for you um, because of you know it's a service. Uh, but what I like, guys, is the uh, the one site uh, which is very it works very good for me. The Easy Post. The reason why I like that one because all you do is you type in your whatever your username is. It will not only post the ad but it will validate it for you as well very very quickly. Uh, so it, it speeds up. If you're doing a lot of ads, it'll do five ads in less than seven seconds. Uh, you know, post it, verify, done, out the door. So there's a lot of different sites out there, guys, that you guys can utilize. Uh, you know, as the company shows you a whole list in your back office, and uh, we're going to see about getting the, the one site, if it's not already there, the easy post up there as well, because these are different sites to help you build your business. Anything else that we miss, guys, very quickly before we uh, end this call? Um, Steve, I guess one more announcement just regarding uh, anybody, because now it's not easy to get. Anytime you need a secondary password, it's not coming to your system, Hotmail. Everybody get a Gmail, <laughs> but Hotmail, those are difficult. Anytime you need to change anything in the company now, you're going to need to submit, um, scan your ID. And, uh, and tell the reason why, because they, just to cut down on all the fraud, that they're making sure that they're not giving somebody else your password and username. So anytime you need anything changed in your back office with the company now, you have to submit uh, ID. Absolutely. Would, and yeah, they would no longer, story. like, you know how we were able to get it for Randy, people's secondary passwords, um, they won't give it to us anymore. So anybody who sends me anything, just make sure your ID and stuff is attached and they forward it and they will uh, deal directly with you because they want to make sure that um, security is in place. Absolutely. You know, someone just typed also, in. Randy, also, Randy, when they're filling out the applications from the start, they need to do it slow and take their time because if they mess up in between and they 
go ahead and submit it. It's hard to get it changed over. So make sure you guys take your time filling out the application yeah, when you're getting started. Thanks a lot, Carla. Well Appreciate said, it. Carla. <laughs> well said. Here's, a, here's another thing, guys, and we get this question all the time, especially with new people. we got a ton of people. They're joining by the thousands per hour. I promise you, I'm looking at the ID, the ID numbers, and it's blowing me away. Here's what you got to realize. New people coming in, they understand they sell their stock back. But here's the number one question that we get all the time. Mm -hmm. People are saying, oh, my God, I've been placing ads every single day. And, and listen, guys, I've been placing ads every single day. And I'm not seeing any packages. So when they go in their back office, they click on stock, they hit history, it says no records found. And when they click on the My Ad Central, it tells them, okay, you place ads Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I placed it now for eight days. Where's my stock? Guys, it doesn't. And when you just join the business, uh, like this person just started on 520, uh, you know, again, guys, you have to understand. It's always a lag time at first. So you'll go, you know, stock won't show up on this account probably until Thursday or Friday, and then from that point it's every week. So it's almost kind of like close to a two-week lag. So we want to make sure you guys know this. We'll be covering a lot more of this on our Friday training call, but remember, guys, Tuesdays are always update calls. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday will be presentations, as well as it's in the afternoon at 2, and also in the evening at 8. So those are our presentation days. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday at 2 and 8 p.m. Tuesday is an update call where we're going to give you more updates that we get from the company. And Fridays are going to be at 2 o'clock a training. So just so you guys know the schedule when you're inviting people so that they'll know exactly what's going on. Uh, but again, you know, what you'll notice is under the stock, Guys, you'll start to see it two, three days later. Then it'll show up, and then it'll show you the date that it's available to sell back. Guys, I don't have any other updates that I want to share with anybody, but that's we're getting a ton of emails on that, and I want to clarify that because we've got a lot of people joining the business. Anything else, guys, before we end this call? Okay, if not, I appreciate everybody getting on the call. Kelly, are you still with us? Kelly's probably on the merry-go-round. I know she was taking pictures, <laughs> but I tell you what, that's, that's the beauty of when you're having fun working a home-based business. Guys, tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern, make sure you bring all your guests. We're going to be doing a uh, presentation tomorrow at 2 and then also at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A lot, of, a lot is going on in the company, guys. There's a ton of people uh, that are joining, a lot of new services that are being added. We're going to recommend that you and your entire teams, everybody that you have, bring them to these calls daily because anytime we find out different things, just like we found out last week, several different things that came, things that are critical that you need to know for your business, you want to make sure you're in tune and know exactly what's going on. I, I have people call me, I had a guy call me today, and the question that he asked me and, and it's, so, it's, so, it's so embarrassing, guys, I'm not even going to say what it was. But he asked me a question of how come this isn't doing this, and this is something, ladies and gentlemen, this company stopped. It's something that they stopped four months ago. That shows you the last time they've been on a conference call. So, again, the bottom line is to keep up to date with what's going on. You want to make sure you stay plugged in. Very, very important for you guys to do that. Hey, we appreciate everybody getting on the call. went a little bit longer than we wanted to. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being here today. Absolutely incredible what we've got going on with Telex Free Meetings going on everywhere. And, again, don't forget about the Super Saturday coming up this week in New York. So if you know anybody in that area, guys, uh, get up to that meeting. Until then, this call is officially over. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye for now. Uh -huh. Hello.